Okay, don't attempt this upgrade if you uh, don't know what you're doing. Basically what we've done is remove the dual extruder and put a single extruder in place. It has a uh, hot cooling fan and an E3D version 5 hot fan. And you get a, I don't know, focus. 278, 335 and 576 high volume. So you lose uh, 1.3 centimeters. It's uh, very important to notice that you need a new belt for the uh, x-axis. And you also need to cut out a notch in the side here. And you need four bearings, I guess bearings, uh, to get it to work. And I actually just put, uh, I left the double motor and the double heater sensor in place. So I just hooked up a, a broken motor and a sensor just to make uh, sure that. Uh, it would work. So you need to flash the new software to your controller. And I also recommend doing this so that you can turn and adjust the build platform from below the printer. You also need to adjust the Z axis. And you need an E3D hot end and an extra radial fan and uh, a 3010 fan on the side there. Once you have that, uh, you can update your printer to build on a much larger volume.